everyone, Cruiser here. Well, Dr. Wolf just released a video asking, why take the magic out of My Little Pony? Because Pony Life, to some extent, seems to be doing that, at least in his opinion. And I want to express my thoughts, my opinions, uh, answer the question, and just add to the overall conversation. Now, I am not going to be recapping everything Doc said, so if you want to know, link in the description. So, here's my thoughts on it. I don't really see it as taking the magic out of My Little Pony. I see it more as what happens to magic when you change the setting. Because uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic already took place in a fantasy setting. And normally when it comes to fantasy, magic already exists. I mean, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Last Unicorn, you name it. And then when it came to Equestria Girls, which I know Doc is not a fan of, but let me continue. When it came to Equestria Girls, it was more of a case of what happens to magic when it roams free in a place where it's not supposed to belong. And as, you know, the, the Equestria Girls series went on and they did Spring Breakdown, they did acknowledge something here. And that's the fact that they're not regular teenage girls. They are essentially superheroes. And whenever magic gets out of control or someone gets corrupted by it, it's up to them to go save them. So that's what happens when you put magic in a world where it's not supposed to be. So in a way, it's kind of like Power Rangers. In the case of Pony Life, it's what happens to magic when you have elements of modern day conveniences in this fantasy world. Because they do have tablets, they do have smartphones, Pinkie Pie is trying to get on a reality TV show, which, let's be honest here, that would be hilarious. And I think it's just trying to figure out what happens with magic when you introduce those elements. Now, sure, like him, I do enjoy the world building of My Little Pony, and uh, it is continuing in, uh, in the comics for season 10, which, by the way, I've read the first copy, it's or the first episode. It's great. It's worth reading. Uh, it does involve... Yeah, going to Zakora's homeland. That's something I've been wanting to see for a long time. And I think all this really is, is just experimenting. I think it's just seeing what else can they do with magic. And going back to Pony Life, when you watch Pony Life, yeah, sure, they do have modern technology in there. However, it's really small. It's really tiny. It's never really the main focus. It comes in and makes its appearance. It's gone. Uh, and to be honest, when they have used it, it's pretty funny. If you've seen my last video, uh, you'll notice that Twilight is looking up their version of creepypasta that they call scary ravioli. <laughs> that still gives me a laugh. Like, like that was good. I really like that. And these, and these episodes are already pretty small. But when the technology comes in, it's smaller. So I think all this really is, is just testing the grounds. Because one of the things that Doc pointed out is that maybe they just ran out of content for these characters and did all that they could with that fantasy setting. So maybe this is all just seeing what else can we do with this? What else can we do with magic when you put it in a different setting or when you alter that setting, what happens to the magic? So that's my thoughts on this. And I'd like to know what all of you guys think. And let's not forget too, we still have a second pony movie coming. And from what, and all we know about it is that it's not a sequel to the first one that we had a few years ago. So what's all this mean? What's gonna happen? I don't know, but all I'm saying is I think that it's just testing to see what magic can do when you change the setting, change the story, maybe introduce a new character. And who knows? Maybe this 10th season with Zakora is going to lead to something. We just don't know. We are only fans. Not even the voice actors know anything. They're pretty much kept in the dark. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until then, this is the Content Cruiser. Take care.